Hi guys, Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through Freshdesk, the powerful customer support ticketing solution from Freshworks. We'll cover everything that you need to get started, from signing up for a free trial to creating a ticket. So, if you've been thinking about trying Freshdesk to enhance your customer support, you've come to the right place. So, let's get started. First off, what is Freshdesk? Well, Freshdesk is a cloud-based customer support ticketing solution that allows you to manage your customer support tickets, interact with your customers, and deliver top-notch service through various channels, all from one platform. It helps your team stay organized, respond faster, and improve customer satisfaction. Now, let me show you how easy it is to get started with Freshdesk. To sign up for a new Freshdesk account, just click the link in the description below this video. It'll take you to the Freshdesk homepage. And once you're there, look for the Try It Free button and click on it to get started. You'll have two options for signing up. Either use your Google account or sign up using an email address. The best part is that Freshdesk offers a 14-day free trial without needing any credit card information. It's honestly one of the best deals out there compared to some of its alternatives, which either lack a free trial or require credit card information just to try them out. Once you do that, it'll ask for a bit more information like your company name and phone number. Just fill that in and click Try It Free again. Now that we're all set, it's time to personalize your accounts by following the on-screen prompts. Now, once you've completed the setup, let's go over each one of them. So first up, we have the quick start section. Now, this is essentially a step-by-step -step guide to get you going with Freshdesk. It's perfect for new users as it helps you get set up and start delivering delightful customer support quickly and easily. Next, we have the dashboard tab. And here you get an overview of your support activity. Things like unresolved, overdue, due today, open, on hold, and unassigned tickets. You'll also see a trend graph for the day's activities, giving you a quick sense of how busy things are. There's also information about unresolved tickets and customer satisfaction metrics, showing you positive, neutral, and negative feedback. Now, this is super useful for keeping track of overall customer sentiment and ensuring that you maintain high standards of service. The dashboard a new user sees initially is a sample populated with sample data to help you get familiar with the features. So you can close the sample data at any time to reveal an empty dashboard, which will start populating as you work with the product. Now let's move on to the tickets tab. This is where you manage all of your customer support tickets. Now you can see existing tickets and filter them by status like overdue or pending. You can even create new tickets, emails, contacts, companies, and agents by clicking on the new button. Now, this is also where you can export or filter tickets based on specific criteria, making it really easy to manage a large volume of support requests. Freshdesk offers flexible viewing options, allowing agents to seamlessly switch between a tabular layout and a card-based view. Now, this dual display approach enhances user experience and adaptability. The Tickets tab also enables agents to perform bulk actions on tickets, such as bulk assigning to a new agent, bulk updates, and bulk deletion. Additionally, agents can reorder the columns to customize the tab according to their specific use case and preferences. Freshdesk has put a lot of thought into making ticket management as smooth as possible, and it really shows. Next up is the Contacts tab. Here, you can manage all of your existing contacts and you can add new contacts manually, export your contacts list, or import a batch of contacts all at once. There's even an option to sync your contacts with your platforms, making it seamless to keep everything updated. Each contact in Freshdesk is stored with key details such as name, email, phone number, and any additional fields that your business might need. For example, a sample contact might include fields like company name or customer status, and you can customize these fields to capture the most relevant information for your business needs. Moving along, we have the solutions section. Now, this is where you can create and manage articles that help your customers solve problems on their own. Think of it like a knowledge base or a help center. You can easily create a new article by clicking on the new article button at the top right corner. The articles can be grouped into relevant folders and categories for the best organization 
of your support content. Now, this feature can save a lot of time by reducing repetitive support tickets and providing customers with helpful resources. After solutions, we have forums. Now, this section is great if you wanna build a community where customers can interact with one another and share their insights. You can also manage different categories and forums here, making it easy to organize discussions and encourage peer-to-peer -peer support. You can add new categories and forums or manage existing ones. Admins can also moderate forum content easily by filtering out unwarranted replies and spam links. And approval workflows can be set up to ensure that suspicious posts don't go live immediately. The next section is analytics. Now this is one of the most popular features of Freshness. Analytics provide you with performance insights for your team, like the number of tickets created, resolved and pending. You can also manage your reports here from your personal reports to curated, private and shared reports. If you need a custom report, you can easily create one by clicking on the new report button at the top right corner of this page. At the bottom left side of this page, you can also find the trash section where deleted items are stored and settings where you can customize your analytics dashboard. Next, let's take a look at the admin tab. Now this is where you can handle all of your administrative settings. Think of it as the control center for Freshdesk. You can manage things like Freddy AI, which is Freshdesk's artificial intelligence assistance, your support team, communication channels, workflows, and agent productivity. You can even manage broader support operations and account settings from here. Finally, at the top left, you'll see a small icon made up of square dots. This is the Freshworks switcher, and it allows you to quickly jump between other Fresh Desks products like Fresh Sales, Fresh Marketer, Fresh Sales Suite, and Fresh Chat. It's super handy if you're using multiple Freshworks tools and you need to switch between them without much hassle. Now that we have an overview of the dashboard, let's talk about one of the core features of Freshdesk, which is tickets. So in Freshdesk, a ticket is essentially a customer query, complaint, or request that needs to be addressed. So tickets can come in from various channels like email, chat, phone, social media, and more. They serve as the primary way for your support team to interact with customers and solve their problems. Tickets allow you to track and manage issues efficiently, assign them to their appropriate agents, and to make sure that they get resolved in a timely manner. So each ticket contains all of the necessary information about the issue, including the customer's contact details, the nature of the problem, and any related communication. Now this ensures that your support team always has context and can respond effectively. With that said, let me show you how you can create a ticket in Freshdesk. So to create a new ticket in Freshdesk, simply click on the Tickets tab, select New Ticket, and fill in the basic details like the customer's contact information, a brief subject, and a description of the issue. In Freshdesk, while agents can manually create tickets, most tickets enter the system through their customer interactions. Customers typically generate tickets by filling out a form on the support portal or by sending an email to your company's support address, a process that Freshdesk streamlines for you. Now, this ensures that customer inquiries from various channels are seamlessly captured and organized in one place. So each ticket that arrives contains key elements, the customer's contact information, the subject summarizing the issue, and a detailed description. Additional metadata includes the source of the ticket, like email or portal form, its status, priority level, and any associated tags for categorization. Agents can access these details to fully understand the customer's concern. Now to respond to a ticket, an agent simply opens it within Freshdesk and uses the reply section to compose a message. Freshdesk offers formatting tools, attachment options, and canned responses to facilitate effective communication. Once the agent sends the reply, the customer receives it through their original communication channel. Agents can continue the dialogue as needed, updating the ticket status to reflect its progress toward resolution. And that's an overview of how to get started with Freshdesk. So we've covered signing up, the dashboard creating tickets, and 
each of the main sections that you'll be working with from tickets to analytics, solutions, and more. So Freshdesk is designed to make customer support management as easy and effective as possible. And I hope that this video has helped you see just how intuitive it can be. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and that you subscribe for more SaaS platform tutorials. Also, if you have any questions or you want me to dive deeper into any specific feature of Freshdesk, just let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.